Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is Chief Booty Baker, and welcome to the channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And here's a really good reason for you to subscribe. Uh, in my last video over the weekend, I had uh, mentioned in the video that was comparing uh, tournaments and event points and everything, I mentioned uh, going to watch the Viva La Dirt League video. Uh, unfortunately, we did not make the 1.5 million views for, for them and for us to get that free legendary skill tone and uh, the, the million silver in it and all these other goodies. Imagine if my video had gotten to several more thousand views, how much closer we might actually be to getting that third milestone. Legendary skill tome and the chaos ore, million silver energy refills, all gone. They're done. Looks like we didn't make it. So uh, in any case, you know, hey, tip from the chief, definitely subscribe. I try to put as much info on news, on updates, events, all that kind of good stuff going on. Anytime you do invest and watch my videos, I greatly appreciate it. I thank you so very much. I basically, my only investment in this game is my time, which my time is actually, to me, more valuable than money. Uh, so I do appreciate any support you guys give to the channel, and, and but definitely subscribe. We just recently, uh, yesterday, had the boosted summons for Duchess Lily 2. For today, they've got Warlord as your summon boost champion. Uh, one other thing that came out uh, early this morning was the Artifact Enhancement event. I'm going to kind of complain a little bit about it because it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the uh, point system. And I was talking about the point system over this, uh, over that same video I was referring to with the Viva La Dirt League mention in it. And uh, to get the uh, fusion rare champion that you're going to need to, uh, for the fusion, uh, 4,775 points. Now, that's not too bad. Uh, if you look down here, any six star common up to mythical any six star you're going to get 340 points uh, if you raise that up to level 16 so you know on your best gear your best legendary your mythical gear uh epic gear uh you know as long as it's six star you can upgrade any of that but it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you do a common but with the common you may don't upgrade trash because you may take that common all the way up to level 16 and get horrible flat stats all the way through even if it's on a pair of speed boots so just be careful how, how you allocate what you're putting all of your silver into for this uh event but i did want to point out that the difference between this account and uh my other accounts uh is is actually pretty significant and it doesn't make any sense just because i'm at a level 58 which i can't show you a, a, an account that's higher so if you have an, a higher account check it out check out what your event bracket is check out whatever the points is to its total of 6500 so check out your point system as far as whatever uh, bracket of the event that you're in and your account level see see what that is so to check the artifact enhancement event on this account, being a level 45 account, uh, same same point system, same same rewards in it, 3,000, that's 1,700 less for the same thing. The same point bracket down here. Six star all the way up to 16 level. So a six star artifact, it maxing it out to level 16, 340 points. It doesn't matter if it's common, it doesn't matter if it's legendary or mythic. So with that, that doesn't make any sense why my account being, you know, that far apart has that big of a difference in the point system. So when you're watching a lot of videos or you're getting a lot of uh, tips through forums or, or chatting among people that, that, you know, I know this is just a tournament or event. It's not what the game is based on. But when you're free to play, you have to get resources from somewhere. So don't let all that advice fool you with say your account level doesn't matter because it does matter. It absolutely matters. It matters to how much uh, resources you're available to stuff in your booty trunk. So definitely, again, subscribe to the channel. I'll try to help uh, offer you tips and advice and guidelines on, on how to get as much resources out of this game without grinding, without doing a whole bunch of uh, farming the campaign, which is going to increase your account level. It's going to increase your artifact power, uh, your champion power if you don't use your champions or if you don't uh, use your champions in the right way. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of tricks that I'm working on to try and get uh, those out there to you. But uh, the Dungeon Divers event that's going on, 
this is going to be based on the artifacts that you can get out of the deeper you dive into the dungeons but again your rare champion here 3350 5350 for your total rewards so not not really much of a complaint there it just shows you that the overall count level is going to dictate the rewards brackets so that they're going to be a little bit more difficult to get if you're not able to deep dive into those dungeons. Uh, I'll bring up one other account just to show you the difference on that uh, on the artifact event. On this account today, day 60. I've only logged into this account 60 days, but I've had this account for a couple of years. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get Yaga. I'm not going to get into Yaga in this video. All right, so on my level 23 account, this is the third of the three comparisons that I'm making in the Artifact Enhancement event. All right, so all the way down here, you only need 1,000 points. So that's this is raising any six-star artifact to level 16 at 340 points. So you only need to do this three times, basically. The point is, is why is why is if this is the same it doesn't matter if it's epic uh, common rare doesn't matter you get 340 points hitting that level 16. granted do not waste your silver upgrading trash just to get this reward because that's not really that's that's not really good advice and i didn't give you that advice because if you upgrade something that's common um and you say the only thing i would see worthwhile is maybe crit rate gloves or speed boots but all your stats after that are flat you know commons it's it's not a, a real wise thing but it is cheaper it is a lot cheaper to do that than it is to raise uh than it is to upgrade a legendary artifact uh from zero to level 16. so keep that in mind uh but the, my main complaint is what the hell is the difference other when you when you are out there and you're getting advice and you're and you and people are telling you your account level here doesn't matter this is proof that it does matter this absolutely does matter especially to free to play accounts because where else are you going to get your resources they're limited they're limited to these events and artifacts and no i'm not basing how you play raid on events and artifacts uh, it's just uh, fortunately right now we have the fusion event going on for Razavarg. uh we've got all of these bonus uh events and tournaments going on so again here uh this is this one the dungeon divers it's exactly what it is the deeper you dive into the dungeon the better the rewards you're gonna get uh but with that in turn when you're grinding in the dungeons you're obviously gonna put a little uh experience into your overall account level here which is gonna raise that uh good thing is is obviously each level requires more experience so It'll slow down as you're once this goes to level 24, it'll take a little bit longer, a little bit more experience to get um, from 24 to 25. Just some just some quick pointers there for you. So if you like this video, definitely uh, leave me a like, subscribe. As I continue trying to compare all of these weird little quirks that I find in having the advantage of having uh, this many accounts. Um, so another reason why I have that anti-farming campaign video out there, uh, it's not to say that you shouldn't farm the campaign to get your champion to level 60. That's not what it's about. I'm saying don't do it so soon because it does put you out of advantage of taking these resources that are available at the times they're available in tournaments and events and utilizing them on your account. The more rewards and resources you stuff in your booty trunk, the more that you can take out and put them directly into your champions so that you don't have to campaign farm as much and, and continue raising up your account level. That is what I suggest to get to do to get your champions uh, a lot higher. Uh, again, uh, your first seven days, uh, you're going to get, uh, I think it's seven days. Let's check it out. I think the first, oh, it doesn't go back that far. Okay, so you're going to get Jizzo and you're going to get Shaman uh, on your first couple weeks of logging into the game. And I'm going to update a video here pretty soon on Shaman. It looks like a video that, that people are interested in. Uh, so I'm definitely going to upgrade her, change her artifacts around, and get into her masteries. I grind in the Minotaur a lot. I thank you so very much for checking out this video. I hope you have a great weekend that's coming up. Uh, good luck in the Razalog Fusion event. And I'll check you in the next video. Thanks a lot.